Hey, I'm just experimenting here, uh, using my iPhone to record this video. It's very bright outside, so I'll probably be squinting or my eyelids will be closed. This is just a, a journal, I guess, journal entry. Not really for public interest. I really don't care. Um, but this is for myself. Maybe I'll look back and, and look at who I was or what I sounded like. Maybe I was kind of loopy. I don't know. Um, so anyway, we get on it. It's Wednesday. It's... Uh, the day after the uh, the official <laughs> watch release by Apple, which is kind of funny. Um, you know, we, we focus on so much, and I see stuff on my Facebook and social media, the interests. And it's a challenge, you know, and I, I have traveled. I have seen a lot of interesting things. And uh, priority, or at least priorities, are challenging when I come back to the United States. I don't really find much... Um, currently that attracts my attention I, I'm in the process of, of learning more about myself uh, more about my unself is probably a better way to say it stuff that that I can live without that I can be without and in a lot of it's actually um, it's it's interesting it's really exciting and uh, very scary very disturbing to to be on a um, I don't know if I use the right words um, when I speak, but this is, like I said, this is for myself. It's a frontier, you know, it's definitely a frontier, something that's not explored very often, and, and often it's challenged and attacked. Um, I saw it earlier today, um, or I get it from my friends, get it from people I love, like, dearly. I, I do the things I do to share, um, not just with them and my family and so forth, but also to, to look back and go, wow, I, I didn't know I was there. So I'm presented... Um, ideas very often and, and I try to push those ideas and say okay I'll do it and see exactly following the way it's expressed see the results on myself and I've done this in my life whether it be um, with job you know if, if an employer I was a dick you know if an employer asked me to do something and I'll and, and if I want to get into their skin I'll ask them specific instruction how precisely do you want me to do this tell me step by step you know so that way I do it your way and you're happy with those results and, you know, oftentimes, more than not, if you do that, whether it be a relationship, if you tell your girlfriend or, or boyfriend or whatever, um, well, tell me exactly what you, what you would need from me in this to, to make things work. And you're going to find that a lot of us don't even know. We don't follow an instruction. We don't follow a pattern. Although we, we notice some things that are pattern-like. Um, an example is food. You know, I get approached every single day. You know, hey, I live off of this. I live off of greens and herbs, and you know, or, or cannabis is the answer. Marijuana is a cure for cancer. I hear all types of garbage, gems, jewelry, uh, crystals, um, all this stuff. You know, religion, same thing. No difference. You know, it's I live without it. So how? That's the craziest thing. Like, like. You know, you're promoting something and you get upset when I tell you I don't live with it and that I'm lacking something. I mean, that's the same tactic that the dairy industry or the beef industry does. How can you live without calcium or without protein? Well, same thing with your crystals and your herbs and your spices and, and vegan. You know, vegan, using the word vegan isn't, isn't a, it's just crazy. You know, everyone's a vegan that says they're a vegan. And yet when you question them on their own, personal animal child which is your human body i mean your body is a human animal whatever it's an animal first and it's um it's affected by what you put in what you allow in and, and what you don't allow in and so forth and if you wouldn't um allow an animal to consume a poison something harmful to it why would you do that for yourself that that's just the craziest thing in the world and then expect a life of, of of freedom i'm trying to reduce the, the the words nutrition and health because or even vegan it's it's those are marketing words there is no such thing as health and nutrition and food and these are all words that we've been convinced to, to use and even as i say this now if i decide to make this public and maybe i will i mean i'm gonna be attacked for it i'm sure you know the idea of fasting, I mean, all these things are silly, you know, I've done a lot of things, I've pushed them to the limits, I've got to see the results, I've measured the results against myself, against others, and where they were, where I was, to where I'm at now, 
I feel relaxed. I live in Hawaii. The beautiful weather out right now. I can absorb it. I can appreciate it. One of the craziest things is that I can appreciate a lot less. You know, what activity I do today, what, you know, what I read today, what I feel today. The tiniest things are like, are an amazing thing. I mean, I could stare at a flower for hours and just kind of be confused after after a period of time. Like, what? what? I can't believe time. Time. Think about it. It's it's a reference point. It's a, a means of control. How? What better way to control someone or control the masses than creating yourself the authority on time? It's the best. Or on food. Think about it. You know, I think about it. when I got rid of religion in my life, or at least I, I maybe I used an improper um, structure of sentence in that I didn't get rid of it. It's not true. Um, I just don't live by it. Maybe you know, if I got rid of it, it means it wouldn't exist anymore, and that's not true. I mean, it exists in my my knowledge, I guess. But I live without these codes and these these fictional tales, and I'm not out murdering and raping and conducting pedophile or pedophilia or or any other crazy stuff. You know that is claimed that, that if you don't follow the Ten Commandments or, or this religion or Hinduism or the Vedas or something. You know, you're going to live a life of uh, pain and suffering and hurting and murder and all, whatever. It's just, if anything, you follow those, those, those readings, those scriptures, any of them, you're probably going to follow a very violent path. You know, I mean, they were written by violent people. Um, and I shouldn't say that because I wasn't there. But look at the results. Follow those, you know, those teachings and you'll see it. Now, when it comes to violence... Is, is violence necessary? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I wouldn't experience the lifestyle I have, or at least the experiences, if I hadn't gone through some rite of passage, and, and that rite of passage is, is violence. 